In this tutorial, let's see how to accept two numbers in a HTML page and then pass these two numbers to your servlet that is deployed on a Tomcat server. The servlet will add the two numbers and then output the sum to the HTML page. To start with, let's say file new project. Then under categories, select Maven. Then select Maven web application. Now we will enter a name for the project. Let's call this project simple HTML form. It's simple HTML form. And then the project location we can enter any directory of your choice. Here I enter decol and tutorials followed by web apps. So just say the Java E version is 5 and then the version is 1 and then click finish button so now let's open web pages under the newly created project and right click say new html and create the html page which will accept the two numbers let's call this html5 add numbers dot html automatically the extension dot html is added to the file so we'll start by creating a form within which we will create the input elements that is two input elements to accept two numbers and then a button on click of which it will submit the request to the server so let's arrange these input elements and the button within a html table that is within a table so the table will have rows containing two columns the first column will have the label like first number second number and the second column will contain the actual input element where the user can key in the numbers so to create an input element we say input type is equal to text the value we leave as empty because uh, user has to type in the value and then we assign a name to the input element the name is extremely important because this this name will be used in the servlet to retrieve the value of the input element that is on the at the servlet So after creating the two input elements, we now create a button. So to create a button, we say input type is equal to submit and assign a value which will appear on the button, which is add numbers. So now we are going to create a servlet which will add the two numbers entered by the user and then output the sum to the HTML page again. So we say new, new servlet and then we enter a servlet name 
and also assign a URL pattern. This URL pattern is very important because only using this URL pattern we can invoke this servlet. So we assign a value like slash add to the URL pattern. And this URL pattern value will be used in the HTML form to invoke the servlet, which we will uh, see in a short way. So now, as we have assigned a URL pattern to the servlet, we will use that URL pattern in the HTML form to invoke the servlet. So we say action equal to slash simple html form this simple html form is the context for the web application and after the context for the web application we will enter the url pattern of the servlet which is nothing but add in case we change the url pattern for the servlet then we may have to change the url pattern in the html form also here in the web.xml you can see that URL pattern slash add is related to the add servlet. Now let's change the URL pattern to add to numbers. So if you change the URL pattern we have to change it in the HTML form too. So we make the change here and then save the file. So now we go to add servlet and then uncomment the code uh, to write something as the output and then we have to write the code to extract the two numbers from the HTTP request. So the code to extract the two numbers and add them will be written in a method called process request. So we say integer first number is equal to request dot get parameter of a key. So this key is same as the name of the input type that was given in the HTML form. So to know the name of the input type, we just go to the HTML file, just copy copy the name given to the first number and use it in the servlet to retrieve the value. In the same way, we do it for the second number also. Now, because request.get parameter will return a string which is not compatible with the integer, we have to parse the integer value from the string, which is done using integer.parseInt method. So we just adjust the code so that an integer value is assigned to first number and second number. Okay, now we have the first number and second number. So we have to add those two numbers and assign it to another integer variable called the sum. Now the sum holds the sum of the two numbers. So our next task is to output it to the HTML page. So we just say the sum is, that is the sum of numbers is, and then we type, uh, we write the sum to the output string. So we will explain in later chapters how to write into the output string. But for now, uh, the single line change, that is the code change in the single line, is good enough to output it to the HTML file. 